The original Super Sports was a limited run 3 litre created in the 1930s to break performance records. The Continental Super Sports, armed with pure energy and adrenaline, is a continuation of Bentley's attitude towards performance and pursuit of new extremes. To create the fastest, most powerful Bentley ever would require a very special type of engine. The result is a 6-liter flex-fuel twin turbocharged W12, producing a staggering 800 newton meters of torque. Not only is this engine immensely powerful, it is also possible to run it on E85 biofuel. A smoked steel finish features prominently on the detailing of the Supersport's minimalist body. Its bonnet vents, matrix grille, and headlight surrounds all benefit from a technique called physical vapor deposition, which is usually associated with the high quality finish found on luxury watches. The 4038 Ford GTs produced between 2005 and 2006 take inspiration from the legendary Ford GT40 that took first, second and third at the 1966 24 Hours of Le Mans. With no carbon fiber or computerized driving aids, the Ford GT may feel a bit outdated compared to other modern supercars. But like the car it was based on, once you head out onto the track, the numbers do the talking. An all-aluminum 5.4-liter V8 is mid-mounted and sits low in the car's frame. Supercharged to produce 550 bhp at 6,500 rpm, the car can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. Capable of reaching speeds of over 200 miles per hour, the car remains responsive and will slide without ever feeling like it will bite. Although at first glance it may seem to be identical to the Ford GT40, the Ford GT is in fact longer, wider, taller and structurally very different. The 2006 model year saw two limited edition paint schemes added to the Ford GT's palette. Tungsten grey with silver stripes and the distinctive heritage blue and orange heritage livery option. The MP412C is the latest creation from a company with 20 years of car design experience and Formula One success. A bespoke V8 engine was designed from scratch to be more power efficient than any hybrid and able to produce 80% of its torque below 2000 RPM. Built from lightweight materials and positioned low for optimum handling dynamics, it complements the all-carbon monocell. The V8 is twin turbocharged and will redline at 8500 RPM. Forget what you think you know about sports cars. Relying on their top secret simulator to develop engine, aerodynamics, braking and steering, the engineers were fully able to concentrate on optimizing the 12C's driving experience. <laughs> Originating from the pits of Le Mans after a 16th overall victory, the engineers went on to develop a concept to show what was technologically feasible. 1,270 handcrafted units were built because exclusivity occasionally needs a limit. Underpinning the Carrera GT is a self-supporting carbon fiber body which can handle 603 bhp and a speed of 201 miles per hour while remaining incredibly light. The Carrera GT is lighter than the current lightest Porsche available. The world's best-selling high-performance car of 2006 is instantly recognizable as a Porsche. The typical Porsche front includes three air intakes, which identify the commitment to managing airflow in the overall design. The engine cover is a beautifully crafted twin power dome of cross-drilled stainless steel. Be assured it is a fighter. Successor to the famed Diablo, the Murcielago was first introduced in 2001. In a continuation of Lamborghini's tradition of giving its cars names from the world of bullfighting, the Murcielago was the name of a fighting bull that survived 28 sword strokes in 1879. The LP640 in its name refers to the position and power of its engine longitudinale posteriore, rear longitudinal, and 640 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, capable of a top speed of 211 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of 3.4 seconds, the car defies what is usually expected from cars of this size. The front and rear fascias were restyled along with the side vents, which opened to cool the V12 engine when required. A new exhaust system has been shaped into the rear diffuser, and the air intake on the left is enlarged to accommodate the oil cooler. Mm -hmm. 
Lamborghini is redefining the future of the super sports car with a unique technology demonstrator. Its name, which means six element and refers to the position of carbon on the periodic table, hints at the extensive use of Lamborghini's advanced carbon fiber technology throughout its construction, including parts of the suspension and wheels. With an overall curb weight below 1,000 kilograms, coupled with the same V10 engine that was previously only found in the Gallardo LP574 Superleggera, the Sesto Elemento is capable of a truly staggering 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of 2.5 seconds. Every single kilometer in the Sesto Elemento is sheer fascination, due in part to the relentless traction attained by using a permanent all-wheel drive system. Every single line of a Lamborghini has a clear function. The two vertical ribs at the front improve stiffness and guide the cooling air directly to the radiator and brakes. The triangle, like the one around the door handle, is a recurring theme that can also be seen on the air outlets in the hood. Surfaces have an outstanding red shimmer thanks to a nanotechnology which adds fine crystals during the final stage of production. Codename Blue Devil, the ZR1 is the most powerful and most expensive Corvette model ever. The ZR1 is the first production Corvette to achieve a top speed of over 200 miles per hour and one that can match the performance of other exotics costing at least twice as much. While the ZR1 shares the Z06's aluminum chassis, its suspension tuning has been optimized for the car's incredibly wide front and rear tires. To achieve its performance goals, a supercharger was added to the 6.2-liter V8 that pushes its peak power up to a jaw-dropping 628 bhp at 6,500 rpm. With a raised carbon fiber hood that incorporates a clear polycarbonate window showing the engine's intercooler, the Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 is instantly recognizable. The Pagani dealer for Hong Kong had a very unique proposal. To be able to sell road legal Zonda R's. At a cost nearing $2 million each, only five cars were built, which is why the car is named Cinque. With an obvious focus on performance, the ride of the Zonda Cinque is very low. It is only through the use of exotic materials such as titanium and an aluminum magnesium alloy that allows the chassis, suspension and wheels to perform like a race car on the uneven surfaces of everyday roads. The Pagani dealer for Hong Kong had a very unique proposal. To be able to sell road legal Zonda R's. At a cost nearing $2 million each, only five cars were built, which is why the car is named Cinque. With an obvious focus on performance, the ride of the Zonda Cinque is very low. It is only through the use of exotic materials such as titanium and an aluminum magnesium alloy that allows the chassis, suspension and wheels to perform like a race car on the uneven surfaces of everyday roads. For a strictly limited number of discerning customers, 177 fuses advanced technology with stunning Aston Martin design to create what is possibly the world's most desirable automotive art form. Aston Martin's 177 exists at the intersection between a limited edition artwork and pure technological innovation. The 77 people who will become owners are making a major commitment. Their reward? A car that is the culmination of all the elements that define Aston Martin's modern era. V12 power, lightweight construction, modern material, craft skills, design excellence, and naturally, raw beauty. For Aston Martin, 177 is a unique opportunity to create a car as functional art, an object of beauty and contemplation that can also be interacted with, enjoyed by a select few on a strictly personal basis. The fastest Lamborghini ever. With the Super Veloce name and a price tag of $450,000, a lot is expected from the Murcielago LP670 4SV. Lamborghini don't disappoint. Everything about this car is pure perfection. 
Optimized valve timing and a reworked intake system has pushed the power output of the 6.5 liter V12 engine to 670 horsepower. Reworked aerodynamics all around mean the most extreme Murcielago is capable of hitting speeds of up to 212 miles per hour. From the monstrous rear wing that looks over the engine cover's transparent hexagonal polycarbonate plates to the enlarged front splitter and rear diffuser which guide the airflow around and under the car with purpose, there is an unmistakable purity of intent that the Super Veloce fulfills. A 2010 Dodge Viper SRT10 American Club racer regained the street-legal production car lap record at Laguna Seca from a one-off exotic prototype with a time of 1 minute 33.915. A fitting finale for the current generation Dodge Viper, which entered production on July 1, 2010. Specifically modified and tuned for track performance, the road-legal Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR features racing dampers and shocks and many aerodynamic and lightweight components. The large rear wing is able to generate an amazing 1,000 pounds of downforce at 150 miles per hour. A fanged front splitter, rear wing sculpted by computational fluid dynamics, and painted Sidewinder wheels add to the already bold looks of the Dodge Viper SRT10. <laughs> Horatio Pagani and his team have once again created a piece of art able to speed over 350 kilometers per hour. Created in Pagani's Modonese studio, only five roadsters will be built complementing the existing five coupes. The 7.3-liter V12 Mercedes-Benz AMG engine howls like a wild beast when the throttle is opened. This is accompanied by the sound of air rushing into the air intake, positioned just above the driver's head. The carbo-titanium monocoque needed only a slight redesign, due to its unique strength, to deal with the absence of a roof which, when removed, is stored in the front. The wheel nuts are made entirely from titanium and feature the Pagani logo. Horatio Pagani and his team have once again created a piece of art able to speed over 350 kilometers per hour. Created in Pagani's Modonese studio, only five roadsters will be built complementing the existing five coupes. The 7.3-liter V12 Mercedes-Benz AMG engine howls like a wild beast when the throttle is opened. This is accompanied by the sound of air rushing into the air intake, positioned just above the driver's head. The carbo-titanium monocoque needed only a slight redesign, due to its unique strength, to deal with the absence of a roof which, when removed, is stored in the front. The wheel nuts are made entirely from titanium and feature the Pagani logo. The chances of owning the new Reventon Roadster? One in 700 million. Costing a cool $250,000 more than the Reventon, this car is also limited to only 20 examples. With 40 years of building open-top cars, roadsters are a way for Lamborghini to add that extra emotional component to their technological expertise. Where the engine in the Reventon was a tuned version of the LP640's engine, the Reventon Roadster features an engine almost identical to the one used in the hardcore LP670 4 Super Veloce. Unlike the Reventon, the exclusive paint used has a matte gray finish that is brought to life in sunlight due to the inclusion of metal particles. The wheels are formed of five Y-form spokes, which include a carbon crescent-shaped fin that helps cool the brakes even further. The special edition Murcielago LP654 Roadster was produced in a limited volume of 50 units only, with a Grigio Telesto exterior that combines grey bodywork with a special bright orange Arancho LP654 featured on the front spoiler and sills. The car also features orange brake calipers and a transparent V12 engine cover, which shows off the V12 engine behind the driver. The Roadster version of the Murcielago offers a unique, uprated 6.5-liter V12 engine that produces 650 horsepower, that demonstrates even further the developments that Lamborghini is able to offer from a current engine and creates the exclusive characteristic of the Murcielago LP654 Roadster. Interior features echo the car's striking gray and orange exterior. 
Besides the orange touches, there's an asymmetric dash design with black Alcantara Nera on the driver's side, including door panel and central tunnel, and black leather Nero Perseus on the passenger's side. At the beginning of the 90s, the Diablo replaced the Countach and was yet again the showcase for Lamborghini's now legendary V12 engines. The name, which means devil, is a return to using names of famous fighting bulls, with Diablo noted as being particularly ferocious. In 1993, the specialized Diablo VT was released. The VT, or viscous traction, highlights the inclusion of all-wheel drive, which would be a feature of almost all of Lamborghini's future cars. However, when the Diablo SV was created in 1995, it was based on the original Diablo and was therefore rear-wheel drive. With the SV or Sport Veloce name, which had only been used once before, it did include an uprated engine capable of delivering 510 horsepower, larger brakes, and a new three-piece adjustable spoiler. The original brief for the Diablo was to build a car capable of at least 196 miles per hour. In 1991, the original Diablo was briefly the fastest production car in the world, with a top speed of 202 miles per hour. With an optional SV logo on the side, other distinguishing features include dual instead of quad front fog lamps, front brake cooling ducts, and two massive air takes on the engine cover. The Porsche engineers knew exactly what their objective was to make the new 911 GT2 RS the most powerful Porsche for the road. Objective achieved. The water-cooled six-cylinder bi-turbo Boxster engine with four-valve technology, variable turbine geometry, VTG, and VarioCam Plus delivers its power through the rear axle. From its 3.6-liter capacity, it generates an enormous 620 horsepower at an engine speed of 6,500 RPM and 700 newton meters between 2,250 and 5,500 RPM. Couple this with a weight reduction, compared to the GT2, of 70 kilograms from the clever use of carbon, aluminum, polycarbonate, and a single-mass flywheel, you have a class-leading weight-to-power ratio of 2.21 kilograms per horsepower. Carbon elements have been used wherever possible, including the front lid, spoiler lip, and rear wing. Even the mud flaps are available in carbon as an option. These not only save weight, but their distinctive matte black finish allows the 911 GT2 RS to be easily recognized when compared to the 911 GT2. The new Bentley Continental Supersports Convertible blends thrilling performance and dramatic styling with luxury and practicality in the Bentley open-top tradition. The supreme potency of the Continental Supersports makes for an aggressive, driver-centric car. Blistering 0 to 60 mile per hour sprint times and top speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour are not achieved by the impressive 621 bhp engine alone. To achieve such performance, weight was reduced, suspension lowered, and an advanced all-wheel drive system added to complement a 4060 rear biased power delivery for greater stability. Even the wheel was reinvented. The striking 10-spoke blade-like design drives airflow over the largest carbon ceramic brakes ever offered on a production car. The black crackle finish to the engine cover and unique Super Sport script engine badge is more than a hint to its aggressive styling and phenomenal power. Just 20 examples of the Reventon went on sale, with the 21st being built for display at Lamborghini's museum. Costing $1,350,000 and looking more like a stealth fighter, this is the ultimate weapon in destroying motoring preconceptions. To ensure the Reventon was at least as fast as the LP640, its engine has been tuned to develop even more power. All-wheel drive and low-profile 245 front and 335 rear Pirellis help keep this wannabe aircraft agile on the ground. Looking at the car, you can still see traces of the Murcielago underneath all the aggressive, angular panels. The front is now dominated by two large air intakes that help cool the brakes. The angular nose is mimicked in the now obligatory transparent engine cover and the rear spoiler. <laughs> 